Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just pray that you would forgive me and us of our sins and inspire us to, uh, to boldly uh, go forth to proclaim uh, the warning message of what is coming on the world and uh, warning people not to receive the mark of the beast and to lift up your standards, Lord, in our life and in our words. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. MS 154, 1904. While I was in Nashville, a scene was opened before me. A great ball of fire seemed to fall from heaven, and from it went fl forth flashes of light. When these flashes of light would strike a building, the building would burn like tinder. And then I heard someone say, I knew this was coming. These are the judgments of God that I knew were coming. So get this. People are starting to know, right? And when this Nineveh to Nashville series is done, more people are even going to know. Amen? Amen? You knew, said another, you were my neighbor. Why did you not tell me that these things were coming? Friends, let me stop right there. When this video is done, it's not only for the people in Nashville, it's for everybody that we know, it's for our neighbors, co-workers, friends, relatives, and it will be our responsibility to let them know. Why did you not tell me that these things were coming? Why did you not warn others? End of quote. Next quote, MS. That was from 1905. This is, I mean, 1904. This is from 1905. MS 188. When I was at Nashville, I had been speaking to the people, and in the night season, season, there was an immense ball of fire that came right from heaven and settled in Nashville. There were flames going out like arrows from that ball. Houses were being consumed. Houses were tottering and falling. Some of our people were standing there. Now, obviously, they had to be out a little ways, and you'll see in another quote that that's the case. But notice what they say here. It is just as we expected. In other words, they're expecting this thing to happen, right? It is just what we expected, they said. We expected this. Others were wringing their hands in agony and crying unto God for mercy. You knew it, said they. You knew that this was coming and never said a word to warn us. They seemed as though they would almost tear them to pieces to think they had never told them or given them any warning at all. Last day events, 25. I saw an immense ball of fire fall among some beautiful mansions, causing their instant destruction. I heard someone say, we knew that the judgments of God were coming upon the earth, but listen to this, but we did not know they would come so soon. I'm just hoping we can even get this done before this happens. Yeah. Others with agonized voices said, you knew? Why then did you not tell us we did not know? Do you see this theme here? But let me, just, let me just state this for a second. If a big Hollywood company that makes a movie, a book, whatever, if they promote by tens of millions of dollars that movie in a certain city, okay, and they spend large amounts of money, go on TV, there's signs, there's commercials, there's advertising. Do you know with all that money spent and all that publicity gained, you would be lucky, and I don't even know if I should use that word, but most of these companies can't get more than 15, 20, 25 percent of the population to view their product, right? I want to I point that out, because we could do this project 
And we could do everything that the world does in promotion and all that, and you're still going to have the vast majority of the city that would not know anything about it. They'd take a plane and throw the flyers out. Yes. <laughs> Next quote. PCO 138, paragraph 1. There was a scene presented to me. It was the night before Sabbath. That is when the scene was presented. I looked out of the window, and there was an immense ball of fire that had come from heaven. And it fell where they were casting buildings with pillars. This right here has been fulfilled, friends. It's amazingly accurate. Because originally when they did the castings of the buildings, there was more than one building. They were buildings, plural. But they, those other buildings were torn down and only one was left. And you'll see this right here in a second. Especially the pillars were presented to me. In Nashville at the Parthenon, when they casted those pillars, it was with a new technique, never been used before. In fact, uh, it was like... Um, <laughs> Look, when you, when you build a Parthenon-style building, you don't cast the pillars. You, you carve them out of uh, marble and granite. And these pillars were cast out of a special kind of concrete that was made to look softer like marble, specifically for this project. But let me read on. So the angel is saying, hey, look, especially the pillars were presented to me. Right? And it seemed as if the ball came right to the building singular and crushed it. Listen, friends, with amazing accuracy, in advance, the Lord is not only telling us the building, but where the ball of fire is going to hit, right? I mean, friends, when this actually happens, just think. And they saw that it was branching out, branching out, enlarging. And they began to cry and mourn and mourn and wring their hands. And I thought some of our people stood by there. There you go. So when she's saying they were there, they're by there, saying, Well, it is just what we have been expecting. By the way, I want to stop right there. This week, I talked to a lady that lives... Uh, a, a sister who lives about an hour and a half away from Nashville, Tennessee, and she's made a commitment to mobilize Adventists in that region to just evangelize Nashville to give the warning that this is going to happen. I thought some of our people stood by there saying, well, it is just what we've been expecting. There it is, guys. They're expecting that this is going to happen. This is in the prophecy. It is just what we've been talking about. Praise the Lord. They're talking about it. Mm -hmm. so the message is getting out. It's getting out, but not to everybody. It's just what we've been talking about. You knew it, said the people. Because just some people aren't going to listen, right? You knew it, said the people. You knew it, and you never told us about it. I thought there was such an agony in their face, such an agony in their appearance. Friends, this is un unspeakable. This is 9-11 style catastrophe worse. Okay? What does PCO stand for? PCO, look it up. I don't remember. It's, 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 a, it's a little periodical that was put together. Uh, and this is from RC 243. Place called Oakwood. Place called Oakwood. And this is important because Oakwood is down in the work in the south. And it was when Ellen White was promoting the work in the South where the vision of Nashville came. Do you remember what RC is? RC 243. This is from this next quote. RC... Is it Reflecting Christ? Reflecting Christ? Reflecting Christ 243, paragraph 2. Last night a scene was presented before me. This is an interesting part of the quote right here. I may never feel free to reveal it all. Isn't that interesting? But I will reveal how much? A little. That means she's given quite a bit here 
and she can only reveal a little. It seemed that an immense ball of fire came down upon the world and crushed large houses. From place to place rose the cry. So here's the deal, right? So not only, you know, in the first quotes, we're like, wow, this is really affecting the people around Nashville. But now, from place to place rose the cry. Listen, we're having all kinds of natural disasters and, and stuff like this happening. How many people heard about the mudslides this week in California? Horrible stuff. They're talking 30, I think I heard 38 miles of highway just taken out. And, and now there's that whole mountain there that's cracked in half. And they think the whole mountain is just going to break away and slide down. Did you guys see that? Yeah. No. Unbelievable. It's cracked right in half. And, and we're, there's been storm after storm, fires, floods, hurricanes, all this kind of stuff. But notice this quote right here. When this event happens, from place to place rose the cry. And here's what the cry is. This ball of fire coming down is so severe, it's going to shake the people so much that this is what they say. The Lord has come. The Lord has come. You know what this means? They recognize that this incident of biblical proportions. Mean people are watching this kind and that's what they're yes. saying. Yes. Oh. But this says down, it comes down upon the world. Yes. They Amen. Say isolated ones. Uh huh. I understand that. But all the quotes go along with each other. Yeah. Immense ball of fire. And you're right, there could even be more than one. Mm -hmm. But look what she says. Mm -hmm. Many were unprepared to meet him. But a few were saying, what? Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. So most of the people, they're, they're like, the Lord has come. That's biblical proportions, friends. And the other people are saying, praise the Lord. Why? That's the question asked. Why are you praising the Lord, inquired those upon whom was coming sudden destruction. Notice this. Because we now see what we have been looking for. Mm -hmm. For a people to be looking for this event, they have to know about the event. Amen? Mm -hmm. They go on to say, If you believe that these things were coming, why did you not tell us? Do you see the same theme? This is how we know it's the same theme was the terrible response. We did not know about these things. Why did you leave us in ignorance? And again and again you have seen us. Why did you not become acquainted with us and tell us of the judgment to come that we must serve God lest we perish? Now we are lost. Can you imagine this? So God's people our neighbors, our family, our friends, the people that we come into the street with, they don't, they don't know this. How many, I mean, I'm, I can't even speak for myself. I haven't hardly done anything either. I mean, how many people on the street have I told this to? Maybe 30? You see what I'm saying? And these are not talking about the people at Nashville now. These are talking about people in the world. Why didn't you tell us these judgments were coming? Why didn't you warn us? Notice what it says. Why did you leave us in ignorance? Again and again you've seen us. We walk out to the mailbox. We, we go to the grocery store. We do this. Again and again you saw us. You had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Why did you not become acquainted with us and tell us of the judgments to come? Why? Do you think we're going to be held accountable for that? No. Every church member, does it say some of the church members? Every. Every church member is to train the intellect in order that he may gain a clear understanding. And this goes, that she's, she says this right after this quote. In order that he may gain a clear understanding of the will of God concerning him. Everyone is to educate the voice that he may communicate a knowledge of the scriptures to those who are in ignorance. Notice she says, a knowledge of the scriptures. So this is in the scriptures? Yeah. It's, in the second, it's in the third angel's message, friends. 
May God help us to stand like Daniel in our lot and place during the days of probation that remain. As it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be. Amen? And what happened to the cities? Fire and brimstone. There it is, Nashville, Tennessee. You can't make this stuff up. The logo of the football team for Nashville is a ball of fire. And when you go online and you read the article about why the artist's conception of having a ball of fire to symbolize a team called the Titans that has nothing to do with fire, they just thought it looked nice. Do you think this... Huh? Was not Adventist inspired? No. No. Oh, wow. This is the logo of Nashville NFL football team. And this picture right here is from their catalog. I didn't superimpose this on here. This is from them. This is literally made by them. And there's no rhyme or reason why they have this logo of a ball of fire, except for they said, well, it looked nice. When I say, this is Ezekiel 33, 8, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not Speak to warn the wicked of his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Everybody that now has seen these quotes is under the same potential denunciation. See, this isn't about delivering Nashville, it's about delivering yourself. Because if we don't warn Nashville, and if we don't warn our neighbors, you see, all thousands of cities are going to be destroyed. Nashville is just, you know what it is? It's an earnest. An earnest. It's a down payment. Because God says, through His prophet, that these judgments are merciful. Yeah. The Lord is sending these judgments in mercy to wake up the world. But you know what the theme of the Bible is. These th judgments are set in place, and when the people are not woken up, what happens? More come, and then more come, and then more come. And this is what happened with Israel. Remember Israel? The Lord sent wave after wave after wave of judgments to correct them, but they wouldn't listen. But he sends one man, Jonah, to Nineveh. Yes. Could listen. He sends one man, Jonah, to Nineveh, and Jonah goes to Nineveh and says, this city is going to be overthrown, and the people listen. And do you know what, what Jesus said? Those, those men will stand as witnesses in the judgment at the end of the world. Because they heeded the warning. And they were heathens. We can have this same kind of result. Now, you know, the thing, has, the thing that goes out of the Lord's mouth will be accomplished. Eventually, no matter what happens, Nashville is going to be destroyed. Nothing can stay the destruction. But, like Nineveh, if the people of that city were to repent they can stay the destruction for a time. And you know how many people have to be righteous in that city for God to stay the destruction? Ten. ten. For ten's sake, God would spare the city. But a bunch of them can get out, like Jerusalem. They can get out. I think if I was to turn from wickedness in that city, I think I'd get out, wouldn't you? Right. Well, I'm hard to tell town. Christ says of his people, Ye are the light of the world, Matthew 5, 14. It is not a small matter. If it's not a small matter, what is it? It's a big matter. Big matter. Yeah. That the counsels and plans of God have been so clearly opened to us. It is a wonderful privilege to be able to understand the will of God as revealed in the sure word of prophecy. This places on us a heavy responsibility. God expects us to impart to others 
the knowledge that He has given us. It is His purpose that divine and human instrumentality shall unite in the proclamation of the warning message. So far as opportunities extend, everyone who has received the light of truth is under the same responsibility as the prophet of Israel, to whom came the word, Son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. Do you hear this? It's not just for me or people that are like me that go around and do this full time. It says everyone is under the same responsibility. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die, if thou dost not warn the wicked of his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. There it is, friends. Nashville, Tennessee. And we need to triage. We need to triage. Yes, we need to warn Coeur d'Alene and Spokane and L.A. and Seattle and all these cities. Yes, we need to do that. But this city right here, it needs special attention. Why? Because it's mentioned by name and it says that it's going to happen sooner than we think. And we do not want... We do not want... See, when she says thousands of cities are going to swept away, we don't know what thousands of cities are going to be swept away, but we know that this one will be. And so now's the time, while there is still time, to do everything that we possibly can to warn this city.